What's up y'all? I wanted to um, share something with you guys. So in my last video I was talking about how I wasn't able to get a good g-force reading because I was using an accelerometer previously with my AEM dash and my mounting solution wasn't good. So in this pane here you'll see the mounting solution resulted in a lot of g-force noise longitudinally. So my goal was to create a calculated g-force channel using GPS. So to do that um, I went on the internet and I found a reddit article here where they talk about calculating longitudinal and lateral acceleration from GPS data haven't quite figured out lateral acceleration because you have to account for the direction in which the car is heading and you have to account for the change in actual velocity. So it's a little bit more difficult. There's some conditionals written into the map. But for the longitudinal acceleration, it's very easy. It's just the derivative of velocity with respect to time. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it's just the change in velocity divided by the change in time on a very small basis. So here I, I made it, I was successful. Not quite sure why the scaling is off. I have to figure out why my units are the way they are, but the values make sense. You know, we're getting about one degree of D-cell, um, and we're getting somewhere around, you know, 0.18 degrees of XL, which is what I'm used to seeing on a slow-ass Honda. Um, and there's a little bit of noise that's the result of the GPS signal being a little noisy, but overall, we figured out how to get the longitudinal acceleration to work out. Um, you know, you can see, so we're going to zoom in here and I'll show you guys what it's like braking on the car. So this is turn one, lightning, so you can see what, this is when the deceleration begins longitudinally and you can see when I stop decelerating the speed trace stops decreasing and yeah, so it looks like I was able to calculate um, longitudinal acceleration, next up is calculating lateral acceleration. So. Yep, that's it. I don't think I have a control end for